Hello! Welcome to Breeze of Tutorials! In this episode, we will show you how to assemble a Brisa kit. Almost every Brisa knife can be bought as a do-it-yourself kit. The kits can be customized in so many different ways. We have designed the kits to be easily assembled regardless of experience. You will see in this tutorial uh, that you do not need a lot of machines and tools to make your own knife. At our website brisa.fi you can find all of these kits. Now, come on, let's go into the production and see what Handsome Hansen is doing. Hello Hansen! We will now demonstrate how to assemble a Brisa kit using this trapper model with a wooden handle. These are the main parts of a Brisa kit. The knife blade, the handle scales, liners and rivets. You also get to choose a sheet and an optional fire steel. Before you begin, you want to make sure you have all the tools and chemicals you need. You will need a flat headed screwdriver, file or rasp, sanding paper, glue and wax or oil. Here we are going to use the BSI Epoxy Slow Curing Glue. You can also use the BSI Insta Flex Plus. We will use Danish oil for the finish. To start out, put some tape on the knife blade to protect it from scratches and to protect yourself. First, it's always a good idea to assemble the kit without any glue to make sure all the parts fit. Then you want to take out the knife blade and put the scales and liners back together to be able to sand the front of the scales. Since you won't be able to do this when the knife blade is glued in place. If you want to treat and polish the wood at the front end, now is the time to do it. Now it is time to start assembling the kit. First roughen up the surface of the parts where there will be glue using sandpaper. Put the female corby rivets into the pre-milled sunken holes of the scale. Apply the glue on the inside of the scale. Put the liner on top of the scale, then add glue to the liner. Now add the knife blade to the assembly. Here you might have to use some force. Repeat this process on the other side, adding glue between each layer. If you want, as a thread lock, you can put a drop of glue inside the rivets. Please note that if you do, you won't be able to unscrew the rivets after the glue has dried. Now add the male part of the rivet and screw it together. If you have access to clamps, it's a good idea to add one in the front and back of the knife handle to avoid gaps between the scales and the blade. Wipe off any excess glue from the blade. Before you do anything else, let the glue dry at least as long as instructed. When everything is dry, you can start to file down the rivets. If you have access to a metal saw, you can use that to speed up the process. 
When you file or saw the rivets, be careful not to damage the scales. Now you can start sanding down the rivets and the scales for a smooth profile. Start with 120 grit, sandpaper and work your way up until you are satisfied with the result. You are now finished with the groundwork of the knife. Now all you need is a final touch. Apply the oil using a rag. Let it soak for half an hour and then wipe off any excess oil. You can repeat this process multiple times to further improve the polish. Leave it to dry until the oil is fully hardened and then polish the knife with a dry rag. And you're done! Congratulations! You have now made your own knife. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.